again. Um, so this dream is about the, you know, the devil does not want you to read your Bible. Because <laughs> I had this dream um, on January 8th of 2019. And I'll just go straight into the dream here. So I remember being in the woods with my car and there were five different roads to take. Um, it was like an intersection in the woods. So there are trees everywhere with dirt roads. I was driving and I came across a house. Um, I had a Bible, but it was taken from me. There was an evil man or a presence of a man. I never saw his face. He was trying to scare me and confuse me. I would drive, but there was so many paths to take. I didn't know which one to, that led home. So I was stuck at this house. I was trying to get something back and um, I knew it was my Bible. I started I started singing Jesus name over and over. Everything I did, I was just singing while um, singing Jesus. So I think I was just going, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. <laughs> and that's like all I was singing the whole time. And um, it just, it made me, it, it made me feel better. Like when I was singing his name, I, I, um, I don't, it just, I don't know. It was like, I wasn't scared. It was like my protection to be singing Jesus name. Um, so I'm stuck at, I'm stuck and I'm look over and I saw, I saw this house and I saw some people there and there was like two or three people that were looking that they were like looking around for something um, around the house um, and the house set up high pretty high um, above the uh, the ground so you could actually go underneath the um, you can walk underneath the house and um, let's see I went over towards them where they were looking under the house and I started looking around and I ended up finding my Bible and I grabbed it and then I saw the evil man slash presence being of a man get um, bound up by chains and left under the house while we all came out and left him there. <laughs> so um, I never saw the people's faces or who they were, but it almost felt like they were my angels helping me in my dream um, they bound up the, the evil presence or the evil being and, uh, help, and I was able to res retrieve my Bible back and, um, thank the Lord Jesus for his protection and power over, of his name. So, um, <laughs> this dream is just shows that, you know, the enemy does not want you to read your Bible and I just had bought a new Bible that was, smaller that fits in my hands and I just loved it so much and I'm just I was just reading and you know really getting into the word and then you know I get that dream where um <laughs> the enemy is trying to take my bible from me so I can't read it so um if you're getting any kind of like if you're feeling like man I haven't read my bible in a while like oh, start praying to Jesus and rebuking that evil that is trying to distract you constantly from reading it because they do not want you because the word of God is your weapon and it's like anything that happens to you throughout the day, anything that you need to tackle when you um, refer to the Bible for instructions on how to handle any kind of situation or what how you should respond to somebody, I notice that when I'm reading my word and something happens that, um, let's say somebody um, says something um, that I feel like, like, oh, what should I say? And then the Holy Spirit will just put those, those words that I had read in my Bible straight into my head as the response that I should put for this person. <laughs> so um, that's a great reason why you, ha you should read your Bible and just because it, it just fills you with so much encouragement and you know the words are living words it's like it's hard to explain but it, it just 
it just feeds your soul and it feeds your your strength in the Lord and being able to handle things that come at you. Um, I know that I'm able to handle any kind of um, any kind of things that my my unbelieving family wants to throw at me or like ask questions about, you know. And God will just put that scripture in my head of what I need to write down. And um, I just love, I, man, I just love God so much. And I love the Holy Spirit because I just, I just love when, you know, something happens and, you know, like some friends are saying something or, um, you know, they're talking about like not believing or like making fun and, um, I just, there's times where I just, the Holy Spirit will just be typing for me, you know, it's just like putting all the words and like when I'm done with the paragraph, it's like, this did not come from me. Like, how did I, how can I perfectly execute this, you know, paragraph to send, you know, to these unbelievers, friends of mine that, um, you know, just, just giving them the word and the truth, you know. Um, so it's so important to read your Bibles and it helps you stay strong. It helps you in your dreams and when you get attacks and stuff like that because you'll start to notice that you reach out to Jesus more. And, um, you know, as like an unbeliever, it's like you get creepy, weird, scary dreams and there's there's no way. It's just like, you, you black out in the dream because they, they got you, you know, and you wake up and you're all scared and there's just like, there's no, there's no, uh, no good, no turnaround in the dream, you know, it's just like doom. So, um, yeah, reading your Bible is so helpful in so many ways for sure. Um, so I hope that, uh, helped you guys out. And um, I love you guys so much, and God bless you guys in Jesus' name. Amen.